Hey everybody, I'm going to make a roast today in the crock pot and I thought I'd share with you what uh, I'm going to do. So I bought a roast yesterday. It was $13.06 marked down to $8.75 and it's an Angus beef. That's a, The tag or the marked down sticker is over it. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put it first into my crock pot and I'll put the camera down in just a second when I get this in. Okay. There. So here we have the uh, roast in the crock pot and then I'm going to take this, not sure if you can see for the glare, it's um, it's what you dip crusty bread in, an Italian type dip, and it's oil, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar, and some seasonings. Uh, you could just put olive oil and balsamic vinegar, you don't have to have this, but I'm going to shake it up. And just pour some over it. You could even use a pack of the Italian dressing if you wanted to. So, there is that. It gives a new depth to flavor with that um, uh, oil and vinegar. Then I'm going to put in a can of cream of mushroom soup. So, I'll get that in there. And as the juice comes out of the the roast and all, it, it'll have a nice broth to it. But I am going to put this little cup, I'd say it's about a cup of water. Then I'm taking parsley, and this is, I thought I had more parsley. This is only like a tablespoon, maybe two. Yeah, I'd say at least two. I'm putting that over it. I'm going to put half of a, a stick of butter. That'll make the uh, broth even more rich. And then I'm going to put potatoes, onions, and carrots in. And... I like to leave the potatoes kind of in bigger chunks because I just think uh, it's a uh, it's just really good to get the chunky um, it's soft but the onion flavor. So that is it. I'm going to put it on high and cook it until the seasoning about six. And right now I think it's around nine or so and uh, anyway when it's done i'll come back and give it a try and we'll see what we think so thank you for watching and i'll see you back in just a few minutes hey y'all our roast finished and i'm gonna show it to you and then take a taste of it so i will put you down where you can see and this is the gravy and the vegetables. I pulled the meat out. But uh, I did add one more can of um, cream of mushroom soup because it just seemed like it needed a little more. So a couple hours ago I added that. But um, all the vegetables are nice and tender. And I'm going to move this over. And here is the meat. And that you see on the end is the basil. And I'm going to cut it and put some on this plate. And you want to cut against the grain so that your meat will be more tender when you eat.
so I'm going to cut a couple pieces. And I'll put these on the plate. Then I'm going to put some of the vegetables here on the side. And a little bit of the broth over the meat. And then I made some uh, biscuits in the south. We call these big ones cat head biscuits. And so I'm going to put one of these on the plate. And I'll probably put some butter in that. This is actually my husband's plate. I'm just going to taste off of it. So I'm going to cut a little bite of the meat. And that cut very easily. It was tender. But here's what the plate looks like. Let me bring it down a little bit. So there that is, and now I will taste a bite of the meat. Mm. That is really good and tender. Let me try a little bit of potato. Mm. Really, really good and uh, so easy to make. So if you uh, decide to make it, you may want to add that extra can of um, cream of mushroom soup. But this turned out really good. It'll be good with the biscuit. And I don't feel like I needed to make anything else except dessert, which I'm doing a video on that too. And um, anyway, I hope you give it a try and enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.